Hey guys, it's Franz. I hope you're keeping well. Um, in today's video, we're going to look at um, making some bultong, making your own bultong. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that. Um, so what are we going to need? We're going to need a, a machine, a bultong maker. You can buy these on eBay or Amazon if you like. We're going to need some spices. So I've got the uh, Crown National Safari Spice. This is basically what it looks like. We're going to need some vinegar. Um, we're going to need some silver side. The meat we're going to use is some silver, silver side. And then we're going to need some hooks to hang them up. Okay. So you can make your own bolting spice, but um, for this video I'm going to go for the easiest, easiest way to start off if you're a beginner. Um, I'll maybe do a, another video on uh, making your own spice. Um, if you want to make your own bolting, if you don't want to buy any of these spices that's in the shop. Okay, so if you want silver side, we are now selling silver side. Uh, you can buy it like this, it's already cut. Um, so you can just go online, you order your silver side, you can get it um, from us. It's going to save you a lot of money if you probably um, go this route. And then once you get it, you can just prepare it. So let me show you quickly how you're going to prepare it. Uh, first of all, you're going to need some apple cider vinegar. Um, I've thrown it um, into this bowl and then you're going to soak your, your meat um, in the apple cider vinegar. This is just to kill all the bacteria um, before you dry it. The spicing is very simple. You know there's um, no wrong way to do it. The best way to start um, to do this is just to start and then with your ne next batch you can make some changes and st stuff if you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dust it on the meat like that. I'll make sure I get a nice shot in when I'm finished. Okay, so this meat has already been um, lying in the vinegar for about two hours. Um, two hours per side, basically. Like I said, it's just to kill all the bacteria so let's do that let me just turn it around make sure I get the spices on the other side as well this is what the silver side looks like I'm not sure if you can see it properly on the video but anyway there we go so let's take more of these spices you just dust the meat the spices mm -hmm. seems like we're going to need a little bit more don't want to make a mess there we go so this spice has already got coriander in. Mm, it smells really lovely. This is a nice spice to use if you want to make bultong. Um, feel welcome to post in the comments below how you like to do it. Like I said, it's not rocket science. Um, and the best way to learn is just to start doing this. And that's probably the only way you're going to learn. So there we go. Just turn this around a little bit again. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we get all the spices in there. Okay, so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably leave it for another 30 minutes or so just to make sure that everything is nicely spiced. And then I'll come back and I'll hang the ball. So there you can get an idea of what it looks like when it's spiced. Okay guys, so I'm back. So the only thing left to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to hang it. You're going to mess a bit, don't worry about that. It's not the end of the world. What's nice about these boxes is you can easily take them apart. I just throw mine in the dishwasher and I clean it that way. 
Hey guys, it's Franz. This is day four and um, I've taken the bolting out of the dryer. So I was thinking I'm just going to show you what it looks like. There's not much left. I brought one piece um, and I taste tested the other piece so there's only a half left. <laughs> so let's quickly um, cut this and see what it looks like. You can of course leave it for a bit longer if you want it a bit drier. Um, or if you like, if you like it wet, you can maybe take it out a day earlier. Just gonna cut a thin piece so you guys can see. It's still a bit red on the inside, but I like it like that. Mm. It's nice and juicy, juicy. You can actually taste the, the sweetness of the apple cider vinegar and I really like this um, spice. So that's what it looks like. So if you want to make your own bolto, go on the website. You can order the silver side steaks. Um, you need a dryer. You need some spices and things like that. Um, I mean, there's nothing more satisfying than making your own built and eating it. There you go, guys. Have a lovely weekend. Cheerio. Bye.